What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over LeetCode 892 surface area. So the input is going to be a 2D grid and <clears throat> what they want is a total surface area of all the one by one cubes that are placed in that uh, grid. Uh, the problem didn't do a good job of visualizing it but the solution from the LeetCode tab is pretty easy and straightforward and I'm going to try to just draw it out a little bit so you could see. So for example there was a five Right, it's a five, a grid with five blocks. Then the one next to it might be four. Then the one next to it might be two. The one in front of it might be might be one. And the one behind it might be six. So when we're looking at five. We want to calculate surface area here, the top, the bottom, the right side, the left side, and if it's less than, then, then on the back as well. So let's get into it. Anytime we're doing a 2D grid, we want to make use of a helper method called inside, so we know we're not out of bounds. So that's going to look like Boolean inside int i int j 2D grid of like that and then if i is greater than or equal to zero and i is less than grid dot length and j is greater than or equal to zero and j is greater than grid of zero of length then we return true else we return false uh, let me change the marker. And now we're going to make use of this one and another helper array to calculate our up, down, left, and right. So int x is going to be, if we stay on the same level, uh, if we go up, if we go down, and int y is going to be, if we go to the left, if you go to the right, if we go up, if we go down. Next we're going to initialize a result, which is what the answer wants. And we're going to go through the 2D grid. If int i is equal to 0, i is less than grid dot length, and then i plus plus. And then for int j is equal to 0, j is less than grid dot length. We can do that because this is n by n grid. Um, when, when we, now that we're so now, for example, say I'm a grid right now. I'm a block. If there's something next to me, I need to subtract my height and that one. So uh, for int k is equal to 0, k is less than x dot length, k plus plus. Int row, this is the new row, i plus x of k int co is uh, j plus y of k. If it's inside, um, okay, we actually have to initialize another thing. So um, int, this is going to be kind of like the temp variable. Temp is going to be 0. This is going to be, if we're inside, then I need to subtract the temp from my height on that side. If it's like that, if inside row co grid, right? If it's inside, then t is going to be equal to grid of row of co. L. Then well, all we have to do is increment res by either zero. In the case that whoever I'm comparing to is larger than me, um, or my height, which is grid dot i of j minus t. That's the inner if, inner four, out, in most inner, and the outer four. So return res. That's pretty much how you saw code 892. If you like the video, um, please subscribe and like it and share it and let me know how I can improve and thank you for watching.